Butt chicken. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, you get notifications of my videos every Tuesday, Friday, and sometimes we do the Sunday video. You can see we have a cow in here who's not doing what she should be doing. There we go. She's in. So we have a cow here, number 236. And this cow is a very, very special cow. The reason for that is this cow is in calf to our very first sex semen short horn. We used to have short horn on the farm years ago. Dad will explain about it. When I was speaking to a guy called James Ron from Strictly. Strickle? Strictly? I was like, is it Strictly? I think it is. And he has short horn, the fantastic animals. And we're all about the grazing. I love my cows to be out. So I thought I'd buy some short horn. Short horn semen. Sex semen is very dear. You're looking at £32 a straw. We're normally buying about £25 a straw for sex. Sounds daft, but when you're buying 40 straws, seven times 40 is, going on 14, 280 quid. So it's 280 quid for 40 straws extra on top of our existing bill. Might not seem like a lot in that grand scheme thing. We just spent loads on the shed. But when my mum gets that bill, she lets me know. So yeah, 236 is a special cow. So we're very, we're hand picking the cow that we put in the short horn on. The reason why 236 is a really good cow, she is fantastic, brown Swiss, milks fantastically. When her bag does get bigger, you see her bag's quite slack. She has a really nice tight bag. We have not too many issues with it. But what I can do is 236, she's going to be fifth carver. She was born the 29th, 0216. She's nearly six years old and about to have a fifth calf, which is amazing. She's done fantastically. Because she's a fifth calf, and because she is one of my faves and uh, normally it wouldn't do anything but she's got a bit soft on her feet really annoyed just for drying off I just want to make sure she does fantastically so we do this thing and I'll show you now we're hoping for a heifer calf but that red one there was sex semen airship and that's come out of the bull so it's a little bit annoying fingers crossed we're hoping for a heifer 93% heifer rate sex semen is you there okay so what are we giving her we are giving her something called a keck stone. So this is a keck stone. Oh, I should write down the number. I'll record it here. 008039. So I posted this on my other Instagram, Snapchat Instagram. I was like, oh, this cow's ready for it. And I was just doing a cow. And people ask me, what the hell is this thing? So this is a keck stone. A keck stone goes into the cow normally about three weeks before calving. But we do it about two weeks because we pull our dry cows out two weeks and put them to the herd. It's just a little bit easier. It's a bit of faff at three weeks. The vet said when you get it, it should work fantastic anyway. So we give it three weeks before calving, two weeks for us. And then it will work for six weeks after carving. This is like slow release of minerals, so this should help her carve. Um, it should help her kind of bounce back from her carving. Any issues or any old cows or any cows that had an issue with last carving, they recommend to give these to them. Some farmers give this to every single cow calf. We don't, I just kind of hand pick what we want. These are about 30 quid a pop, so it's quite expensive in the whole grand schemes of things for doing bolts and cows. There is enough. Hope you can see me from there. I think you can. Yeah, so you put it in like that, the wings go in backwards, I'm sure. Just grab the cow, put it on the left side. Just feed it in, pull and push it. Let's see. We're down to the side. We shoot. We're in. Done. And now, she's not due to carve till. Today is the 27th of January. She's due to carve on. Her last carving was the 19th of March 2021. Expected carving is the 4th of March 2020. 22 so her carving index is 350 so she got in calf first time with sex semen so she's just a fantastic cow and it's something that you'd risk the expensive semen to get a good strong short horn calf out of hey love Always up there ready for next time. We put two green tapes on the bottom of the tail. She's lost one of them. We put a red as well because the green tape seems to be falling off. And just to make sure. Seems a little bit tender on her feet. She's going through a foot bath twice a day. And what I might do is just lift her feet up if she doesn't start bagging up because she's still quite slight. There's no swell in there. She doesn't look like she's going to calve very soon. And what I'm going to do is, you know, if I could just put a block on just to take a bit of weight off a bit of soreness because she doesn't look too lame um, just to make her a little bit better. We will do. But yeah, two, three, six. A very special cow. She is going to be the third mother to a short horn heifer. Fingers crossed, touch wood. Don't be the seven percent. And she's going in the shed where they're all chilled. Nice how quiet it is, isn't it? They're just so chilled in there. Have I done a roundup video? Great. Get cleaned up, scraped up. And I've got another job on today. Hey. Big news. Two three six is in the box. Today is the eleventh. She's been in the box all day. Uh, she's not really moved. I wasn't here this morning, but the guy said she was bubbling at the back end. 
So you're going a little bit soft, bagging up a little bit. The bag's not huge. We're getting there. We're getting closer. Hell of a good looking cow though, isn't she? She's amazing. But yeah, look at her. Look how good looking she is. One of the faves about to carve the first short horn sex semen. So we've got 93% it being a heifer. Put money on red. A little bit more in that bag yet. Fourth carver, I think. It's been a long day today. Long day. That cow carving would just be the best. See you in the morning. See how she's getting on. And... No, baby. I don't think she'll carve for, I'm gonna give her, I'm gonna say four days. Today is Saturday morning. So I'm gonna say Saturday, Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm gonna say Wednesday. Put it out there. Put it out there in the universe. Go on, chicken. Oh, you ate all your grub. We fed you quite well as well. Go on, then, chicken. Go on, chicken. Come on, chicken. Sing, Hosanna. Sing, Hosanna. Got that song on my head this morning. Sometimes the cows can go stale in the box. I say stale, like they don't really move as much. And then they go outside into here. And they move lots and lots. So I'm thinking that might be what's 236 doing. I know, I know, sorry. <laughs> Shouldn't have sang, should I? They all know it's on me now. Excuse me. Thank you. <coughs> we'll be back here later on. Cracking cow though. Cracking cow. Just heard big news from Luke. Who is it there? Ah, it's there. So Luke was on it. I was halfway through lunch. This is, I'm really good we didn't get it on video, but 236. One of my favorite cows. So this is a fifth calf. She is 65 days dry. They normally have a 56 day dry and off period. And over there is the very first short horn heifer, which is super exciting. I'm gutted, I missed it, but that happens in life. First thing we're gonna do is make sure mum's okay. So what we've got here is calcium bolus. Left hand side, only goes all the way in. Thank you. So we would have seen she had a keck stone before. It would have been a while ago now. She had a calcium bolus. Check her. Her ears a little bit chilly, so we don't want her to get milk fever. Did she walk in here? Yeah, she Luke? walked in all right. She walked in fine. Just shut the lights on so we can see better. So this is our very first dairy short horn heifer. So it's sex semen. Bull's called Ox Oxton fever. Lucky Luke's here. And this is it. And she is a heifer as well. She's a big cow. So you can see it's quite a large calf. And I was thinking, is this a bull? But it's not, it is a heifer, which is fantastic. Mum's doing well, she's been up and down. Luke's fed her some warm water. Is it still warm? A little bit, I might just put it in front of her. Hey chicken, hey, what are you doing? There's water there. She'll be in here for anywhere between 24 to 72 hours. Mum, what that is with a heifer, just to make sure she's doing, make sure she's fine. Uh, we'll milk the mum tonight. Uh, we'll test the milk and we'll feed this on a bottle and fingers crossed everything goes well we're gonna leave them together this is an iconic day this is the first of many maybe actually not many because they're very expensive straws short on are great because they're really good for grazing they're good on the legs and feet they are a good overall dairy cow they won't push out as much milk as maybe 236 will but that's why we put the short horn on a really milky big cow because it'll bring the size down it might take a little bit of the milk off but she will be this heifer will be a cracking calf, which will be bang on. Right, we'll leave them to it. You do have water there. Do it like a bit. Hey, look who's up. Our calf, I don't know what we're gonna call it yet. And 236, flying. Calf's trying to get on one, which is great. Definitely is a female, isn't it? Gotta double check these things. It is a female. But this genuinely is amazing. So you gotta think, 10 months ago, I was thinking, should we go for Dairy Shorthorn? Nine months ago, 236 would have been bullying, and we decided 236 was a perfect candidate. She was bullying hard, she's one of our best cows, ever, but she's just a bit tall for us, she's quite tall. Her bag's quite gone quite big, but she is a fifth carver, so it's always gonna happen, the bag gets a little bit bigger. We want these cows to be on the farm for as long as possible. Fifth carver, she'll be about six or seven years old. There's plenty more life in her. We want our cows to be here for a long time. I'm sorry, I just watched something on BBC, which was, Bit horrific saying we only have our cows for five years old and definitely not and the good thing is as well she's cleansed a little bit gross for some people but it's life it happens and calves trying to get on so cow carved on her own she's had a bolus calves up she's cleansed and she's up she's not been milked yet what we're going to do is uh, milk her at the end and feed a calf some colosterol oh drinking a water as well this is just amazing a, a fantastic result overall this is something that i love about my job and i love about dairy farming 
you know, like I was saying before in my book, I'm not trying to plug the book a bit. A lot of it I write about like the best thing about farming is things that you sow today, you can reap the rewards years down the line or even tomorrow. And that's the best thing. The more you put into farming, the more you'll get out of it. And this is exactly it. Seeing one of my favorite cows have one of our first calves of this breed is absolutely amazing. It's fantastic and it makes me super happy. Her feet have got a lot better as well. She's a little bit sore on them. She has been in a box every night for the past Seven or ten days? <laughs> yes, yes you! Uh, which is awesome, it's great. Look at this. I love it. Hey yeah, hey yeah! <gasps> oh, I'm so happy. I can't wait to watch this grow. If we got a name for it, that would be amazing. Dairy Shorthorn, 236 and a mum, and her dad was called Oxton Fever. If we've got a name, we'll call her something and we can watch her go up. How cool would it be in two years down the line? She has her first calf and she's milking, and we'll be milking our first dairy short on it'd be absolutely amazing and uh love to watch it love to see it it's just the best ever anywho i'll stop blabbering on that's more like tom more of a better mood you can tell i haven't fed cards yet they're bawling at me the older ones know who i am now but yeah we'll just get some grub and then luke's gonna cook the cows and we'll feed her at the end i'll show you what we do with all our calves the light in your eyes comes over me not to sell these Look at that. B E A. Beautiful cow and calf. Just getting his legs a little bit. A little bit wet underneath. I think we can line them up. But we'll milk her at the end. I'm just going to take a load over the road. And Luke has got to milk the rest of the cows. Uh, we just had a big event today, by the way. That you guys might find out very, very soon. Well, maybe not very, very soon. Soonish. But yeah, things changing all the time. I think you guys know about this. Still bits to do with this. Projects everywhere. Right, we'll get to it in a minute. Because we've got no cow behind it, it's the last cow. She walks backwards. So all we're gonna do is take about three to four liters off her, just to feed the car. It's or liters of colostrum. Do you know what colostrum is? Colostrum is the first milk that cows give. It is full of antibodies because calves aren't born with. But what am I doing here? Why am I feeding the calf? Great question. So what we have here, which we've just started doing, we're part of the calf club with Oak Hills. I'll let you know all about it. If you want, put it in the comment section if you do. We now use a portable refractor meter. Yep, crazy. Take a little bit of a sample of the milk. Put it on the end here. Flick the end on. And then you look into the light. 20, 21 ish. So we're aiming for about 22. What does the number for it represent? It's protein in the milk. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's something else it represents as well. But without the calf club vet being here or Susie, I can't tell you fully. About 20 to 21. So it's not ideal. We prefer 22, but it's his mum's milk. So that's what I'm going to give it. By the way, waterproof overalls with a chest pocket. Game changer. I've had one for about three years and I've been talking about them for three years. I've been using the same one for about three years. They're not too expensive, about 17 to 22 quid on uh, Amazon or Holmes and Cooper. Go check them out, go buy them, be great. Calf, yeah, she was in there. Now she's coming to me. Now we're gonna try and feed her on the ball. We're on, it doesn't take much. You're gonna ask, why am I feeding it on a tee when I've got a cow with four? Which is a fantastic, and great question. This is so I know how much colostrum this calf has had. So I know what the proteins were in the colostrum. I know how much colostrum she's going to have. She's going to have a top up from mum. And it's just super duper important because then we'll do some blood works on this calf and we'll see if the blood works over 52. Anything over 52 is fantastic. And anything below is not great. Doing this to try and improve. Now we've been trying to get on teats, which again is something that Luke's brought in. And it's been fantastic. I think, hopefully anyway, we'll see by the numbers. I'm a bit of a stat man. If the numbers say you're doing a good job, it means you're doing a good job. Obviously looking at the calves and they're healthy. It's also fantastic. The whole time I've been chatting, look at this calf. We need a name. We need a name for the little one. I don't know what it'll be yet. If you guys can put it in the comment section. So we've drunk a litre and a half in two minutes as I've been chatting. Okay, 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 okay. That, hand, finger in mouth, and we're on. We try and feed about 10% of the calf weight. This is a big calf, so I'm gonna guess it's gonna be around the 45 kilos mark, which is a big calf for us. We're quite small now, we've got the airships and Frisians. This should be small being a dairy short horn, but um, large, it's 
drinking really well. What we've been finding is since we've been using the bottle and the tea, they have been getting on it really well. Belly's getting full of like warm milk, which is just ideal. This is great. This is the perfect result. I'm gonna call it a day. So she's had probably just under three liters, maybe 2.8 liters if you wanna be pro size. Is that gonna stay there? Just. I've got another idea as well. I've not got much straw left. This isn't the fluffiest pens in the world. So. I've decided to put, oh no! Decided to put them both in this pen. It's a bit of a bigger pen. Well, there's a bit more bedding in there and we ran out of straw just today. Nothing else is in here, so it makes sense to put these two in. Can I just put you in the dry bit, please? There we go, there we go, there we go. <laughs> Full as a bed tip. What a great result. First dairy short horn, cow's good, double ballast, cleansed, milked, colostrumed, bang on. Probably shouldn't use my tip. You didn't say anything. So the other thing we do is, so we put the date of carving up here. One, I like to put the cow that carved her. We put her number, what the colostrum level was. So 20 to 21, I put 20. Drunk about 2.8 liters. And age of carving, I think she carved about half one. So say four and a half hours. So it's not too bad. So we write this all down. And then when the vet techs come, they have a look where we're up to. They come every week to blood the car to keep us in track so we can try and improve every month. If you don't keep track, how will you know? Hey, hey, look who's up. She's doing well. She looks so big and really looks like a bull. I'm gonna triple check your nuts. No nuts. Oh, and you've got your bull. My fault, 100% for distracting them. Things are going well. About 23, 21 hours in. Still looking well. Mum and calf doing cracking, which is great. There we go. So, our first dairy shorthorn has officially been tagged up. It is Monday, so currently five days old. Mum came out on, I think, Saturday morning. So mum was out Saturday morning. She's just in the shed, munching along. You know that we fed the calf on colostrum. Her protein score was, is it protein score or colostrum score? Was around 20 or 21? We'll do a proper video of it with the calf club team. So every week, the calf club, uh, Alison, who does it for us, comes and she gives us our scores and i've got the scores here if it's over 55 it's good and our dairy shorthorn our very first dairy shorthorn she scored a number of 56 so that means it's excellent she scored a really high result on her protein so they take a blood sample they test that blood sample and she scored a 56 which is amazing which means it's had the best start possible luke's been feeding her over the weekend and he said she's been on the bucket this is another calf we had i need to tag her up as well looking well obviously as well we've put the calf jacket on and um, to keep them nice and warm if a calf goes below 15 degrees it starts using the milk to keep it warm instead of actually growing so with the calf coat on it it keeps them warm so they'll spend all their milk and their energy they get from feed into growing which is exactly what we want if you want me to sort of talk about more about the calf club and stuff let me know because that'd be great um but our dairy short horn that needs a name someone give us a name you'll see as well the ear text that she's got in it has her mum on it it has her dad on it, who is fever, Oxton fever, and it has a date of birth. So this calf will be in here for the next 10 days, probably. And after 10 days, she'll go to the calf shed. If you want me to do a calf routine, please put it in the comment section below. Any like videos you want me to do about the cows or calves, anything going on, put it in the comment section, and then I can kind of show you guys and tell you what goes on. She gets fed twice a day. She has fresh water in a bucket over there. And these guys have a bucket over there. Everyone's excited to see me. Need to tag that calf up. But the main thing is, a little short horn. It's healthy and doing really well and it makes me so happy we'll watch this heifer grow up when she sees the bull give her any vaccinations it'd be really interesting to watch this one from carving and hopefully in two years time we can see her have her first calf she can come into the herd guys i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the youtube channel it means the world to me the other thing as well i forgot to mention is 236 carved 20 days after having that kex and bolus and you meant to give it about 21 days three weeks before carving so by chance, I got it right. She had a late calf. I just got it in time, so it all works out. I think she did have a late calf because you are massive. I hope you have a fantastic day and we'll see you next one. Bye. Cutest calf ever? I think so. What are you doing? <laughs>